Hey, hey, it's Kathy Bowes Crafting Show. And I got a few things to share with y'all this morning, this afternoon, one o'clock in the afternoon on my page here. Um, we're going to make something really cool that I'm pretty sure I saw on Lizzie and Aaron. But then I'm thinking maybe it was another Dollar Tree crafter. I'm not sure. But y'all, last week I got to meet some of the folks from Lizzie and Aaron, and I was over the moon. They are so sweet, and I was so blessed to be able to meet them, and it was just it was just great. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all what I got from the Dollar Tree yesterday. We have three Dollar Trees in our area. Hey, Marilyn, um, we have three Dollar Trees in our area, and um you know, one's okay, the other one's a whole lot better, and the other one is like somewhere in between. So I went to the whole lot better, and I got a couple of these um, little things of raffia, and let's see. It's made in Madagascar, y'all. You know, you know what the movie was made of? Madagascar? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's made out of the Madagascar. It's made out of Madagascar. These are little cups that I use for my um, paints. As you see here, boop. Now, I'm chintzy enough where I rinse them out and clean them out and just keep using them. But I might run out one day because I've had to throw a couple away. I found these wonderful galvanized numbers, y'all. They go from one to zero, you know, one to ten, whatever, zero to nine, however you want to say it. I got four because, number one, I've never seen them before. Number two, when I start playing with these, I think I'm going to find, you know, they're going to be a whole lot more use. Okay, these, y'all, I love a tag. I do. I love a tag. And I can see this being so many things. It can be an American flag. It can be, it can be anything. I can put chalkboard paint on it and write on it. I don't know. Just anything. And, of course, it comes with jute. I just got one of those. Y'all, I got three of these metal trucks. And because they're hard to find, and I never, never can find them. So, got three of these, and of course, I'm thinking one is going to be just dedicated to Christmas, and then the other two I might change out, you know, for different holidays. Um, and I've got a lot of neat things, you know, that I can hang those on or include those in a design. Found these rub-ons, which, y'all, I really love, like, French and vintage -y stuff, and this is absolutely beautiful. Now, my friend Angela, who y'all see a lot of times on my videos, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, you'll see her comments on my videos. She loves tea and anything tea related, right? So I thought, oh, and I was thinking about how to cut that out and send it to her or save it for her. And it says, because China, it says, I give my heart you, you. I give you my heart. It doesn't say I give my heart to you. I give you my heart. It says I give you, I give my heart you, you. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, okay. Um, yeah, Taiwan, Taiwan is where that, anyway. Yeah. So the one little T image that they have, you know, then I found this y'all, this is a wire circle and it's got these little clips on here. And you're supposed to put, you know, pictures or memorabilia of some sort on it. Um, again, China. Um, and, and the reason I'm looking is because Dollar Tree has started coming out with some um, American-made things. And I'm, I'm going to support that if I can. So, um, yeah, I was thinking how cute this would be with a bunch of fabric strips. that Because I don't need anything to hang pictures like this. But I'm thinking, you know, red, white, and blue, like put the stars and stuff here and then the stripes there and just fabric strips hanging on it. Kind of like ragged strips. I don't know. I, that's what I first thought of. So we'll just see where this one ends up. What I end up doing with it. Okay, so we're ready for today's craft, y'all. And this is the one. I'm not sure if I saw it with um, Lizzie and Aaron or if I saw another crafter doing it, but y'all, it's so simple and it's so sweet. This, um, it's using salt shakers. You get two to the pack. Okay. Here's, here's one. 
And I just needed three, so I bought two packs. And here are my three salt shakers, all right? Salt and pepper, whatever you want to say. Salt and pepper. Um, the little holes in the lids are the same. So I guess you're supposed to look through it and know. Um, just, you know, you look, if it's if it's dark, it's, it's pepper. It's pepper, right? Okay. <laughs> anyway, I'm hanging on to these lids because somebody's going to do something genius with them. And I was sitting here playing, waiting, waiting on time to come on live. And I thought, you know, if you throw one on the tape, no, <laughs> if you were to paint this or do something like that and put string in between, this could be a cute yo-yo. Not a real yo-yo, but like, you know, if you're doing a kid theme something, that'd make a cute yo-yo. And that's all I've come up with. Okay, so we're going to be using our raffia. And I did get two because I've not been able to find any. We have a butter dish. Okay, just a plain old butter dish, y'all. The label looks like this. And they've got a gazillion of them. Okay. Nyoka, lucky you. I have one tiny one that never has anything. Girl, you know I'll shop for you. You just tell me and I'll send you stuff. Um, red, white, and blue would be cute. Yes, it would. And I'm really, really leaning toward that. Oh, I forgot to show y'all this. I also got these stars. The, um, the little stars. Now, none of them, oops, none of them were perfect. They all had little beat up stuff on them. So I'm like, that's okay. That's it. It's okay. It's okay. I got the, I got three of the least beat up and, um, and I got these little plates that I'm using actually today to hold my stuff. So I'm just thinking like, like if I cut this circle out, then I've got, you know, make it flat. Then I've got the stars and stripes. And I, I love that. I love that. I don't know how I'm going to use it yet, but y'all know that's coming, right? Okay, so the first thing I want to do is paint my butter dish. So we're going to this. My little jars are going to be this color. This is Robin's Egg Blue. Ninja Man's coming in the house right now, so the dogs might lose their mind. Mines. I don't know. Or I think he is. I just heard the um. I heard the gate close. Yes, he's coming in. Okay, so we are going to get us some paint here. I've already shook it up. He can't hear me. Hey, darling. Hey, there we go. Okay. So, I mean, I'm going to paint it because, oh, you are, a, oh my goodness, my hero. Trade that in. Oh, y'all, he brought me a drink. Um, Thank you, sweetheart. Um, Anyway, he's been to the allergist this morning. He's not allergic to me. He's not. I'm so excited. Let's see, Nyoka, sort of like our country, a little beat up. Oh, girl, you know it, right? Uh, Who doggies? That's the truth. Uh, and I mean, some days, some days back in, way back in 2020, way, way, way back. I, I want that 2020 to get as far behind me as it can. I, I was like, I mean, none of us knew what to think, right? But, I mean, our faith did not waver, y'all. I'm telling you, God is good all the time. And none of it is a surprise to him. He's already there. He's already figured it out. And I had to just, one day, I had to say, you know what? God is with us. He's right all the time. He knows what's there. And I just had to rock on with my life, right? And things got so much better when I quit trying to dwell on things. And, y'all, we quit watching the news. And guess what? We still don't watch it. And all of that mess is just, you know, falling apart. And I'm like, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. We, um, I, I notice how people react in our community. I'm in Newnan, Georgia. And I mean, old, young, doesn't matter what color, doesn't matter anything. They, you know, they, they, they act like we're neighbors. They don't, they're not losing it, you know? Anyway. Okay, so I'm painting, I forgot to tell y'all what I'm painting this, what color. This is the French linen, and it says home decor chalk paint, French linen. I, it's just a, it's a pretty color, I think. Um, my house is, 
I have a lot of um, Frenchy looking stuff. Um, Nyoka, amen, right? Right? Um, I have a lot of French looking stuff in my house, and I think I showed y'all my um, vanity in my bathroom, the master bath. It's a, it is a triple dresser, and I've got Ikea sinks um, that are above, you know, they're not sunk in, they're, they stand up on the, on the counter, and um, it's painted like a, a, fr a French yellow color. I mean, I wouldn't have chosen that color, but it was so pretty. It really, it really works well. Um, I hope y'all can hear me. I know this is loud, and I'm using my hair dryer right here, okay? Um, this hair dryer is a hoss. I've had it forever. So we're just going to dry this real quick, and then we're going to put another coat on it in a minute. Okay, we got it started, so I'm just gonna let it. I'm gonna let it sit here while I paint the um, these guys. Okay, let me move him over and move him over. Oh, poo. Okay, there we go. No, I I don't know why Pierce Brosnan was here, but he got a tour, and you know we're we're um we're really big around here with the movies now. Um. It's called Southern Hollywood or something. I don't know. There's a lot of stars that, you know, just show up. And it all started with um, with The Walking Dead. And they built studios in the town next to us. And lo and behold, here came another and another and another. And the other day I was with a friend. Um, and she said, Steve Harvey that does, he does that... Um, the game show, Family Feud, that's it, Steve Harvey, that, uh, y'all, mm -hmm. you knew that was going to happen, Steve Harvey was, um, in town, and it's also the next, another direction, the next town over, a couple of towns over, where he was filming, and, I mean, it's just kind of cool, you know, you never know who you're going to see, but, I stand there and it takes me so long to remember their name that I'm just like, oh, well, whoever that was, they're famous. I have no idea. He's looking for a nanny. <laughs> Marilyn. <laughs> ah. Yeah, he, I don't know. He was probably just checking out the area. You know, it's, it's a beautiful town. I mean, it's beautiful. Even though we got hit hard with a uh, tornado, we got hit hard. Now I'm painting the bottom too. Um, just because I think, I think it should be painted all the way. Don't y'all, don't y'all think so? I think so. But, um, I don't know who was here for my Tuesday night live, but y'all, we went off last weekend and Tammy, we are about to sell our house, uh, in Rice Hope in Savannah area. And, um, I'll, I'll be back in town mid June, mm, late June. To close on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So anyway, um, we're, we're doing that. And we went, we actually went to see friends and stuff like that. And then we ended up, well, we didn't end up. We also went to keep our grandchildren. So my son and his wife could go on some sort of little mini day trip for their birthdays. Now, what do I do with it now, y'all? I got it. Mm, hold on. Please hold. Okay, what I do with it is hold it like this and stand it up and then repaint those parts. That's what I do with it. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, okay. It's all right. So now we're going to paint these, and I think I'm going to be more smarter. I think I'm going to stand it like this first. More smarter. And maybe not even paint the bottom yet. Maybe. Maybe. I shouldn't have painted the bottom at all. I don't know. But this is going to be so cute. And, oh, let me tell y'all. I was trying to do a really cool technique. And I was going to do it on my butter dish. And I tried it a couple of times this morning. Had to go to the sink and scrub all the paint off. Went back in, tried it again, different way. And it just didn't do what I wanted it to do. So I abandoned ship and... 
said, you know what, we're just going to paint it a solid color. How about that? Oh, and I want to show y'all something. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Let me find something to put behind it. Maybe this. Maybe. Eh, maybe, maybe not. I'll see if you can see it. Um, there you go. It says six right here. Little acres. Y'all see that? Little acres. And it's got little chickens down here. Um, this is a glass etching, y'all. Goodness. Glass etching. Etched glass. And it's done, you know, between my silhouette or cricket and glass etching cream. And I mean, it's been on there forever. And Six Little Lakers is the name of our home. We're um, out in the country where, I kid you not, we have a neighbor that likes to shoot a gun just like he's lost his mind. But it's okay. He's not He's not shooting toward us. We haven't had to duck yet. Um, Marilyn loves chickens. And I need a hat rack to put them on. Right? I do. I do. Bottle tree. Something like that. I'm not fond of bottle trees. So we're just going to let those dry for a few minutes. And of course I have to come in and touch them up because I didn't I didn't do those as wholeheartedly. Okay, this guy is still acting like he needs a little bit more drying, y'all. So please hold. Here we go. Okay, that'll have to do for a minute. Um, so y'all, I've got all this Dollar Tree stuff behind me over here. And I am going to do a uh, craft fair thing. And hopefully, I'll have some Dollar Tree customers. Of course, I'm going to do Stampin' Up! as well and um, stuff like that. So, yeah. So, hopefully, hopefully it'll, it'll kind of go over well. I mean, there's some really, really cute things. So, this is one of the things I want to, I want to put in it in my Dollar Tree sale. All right. I got to plug in this guy. We're getting there, y'all. We're getting there. It shouldn't take too long. And I think Ninja Man brought me lunch. So you know, I ain't going to take any longer than I have to, right? <laughs> ah, but y'all, okay. This is kind of cool. Tomorrow, I, well, this is very cool. Tomorrow I get to go crafting with some sweet friends. Uh, some of them are um, new friends and... And yes, it is a butter dish. Tomorrow, I'm going crafting all day with friends. Yesterday, I went to lunch with friends, and the same friends, actually. But one of the ladies that was at lunch with us, she was one of my neighborhood moms when I was a child. Um, but anyway, they, uh, my friend, her mom was one of the one of the neighborhood moms when I was growing up and uh, she's in her 80s, probably early 80s. And y'all, I mean, it was so good. It was so good to catch up with her. It just made my heart, I don't know y'all, it was so sweet because we loved her as children and I mean, all the mamas were good to us and it was just kind of neat saying to myself, yeah, you know, that really, that really was a part of my life. This last 45 years with mortgages and kids and all the things that go with growing up, you know, that it that kind of makes everything else blurry, right? But no, um, we oh, it was great. It was so great to see her. I'm going to put on my second coat here, which is probably too soon, y'all, but I mean, there's not a whole lot going on in between. We'll see. We'll see if I can. Come on, paint. Uh, this is Craft Smart Robin's Blue Robin Robin's Egg Blue. <laughs> Robin's Blue Egg. So we did that, and y'all, we sat and talked for, gosh, hours. I don't know. And we have a lot of the same memories, and that's kind of cool, you know, to catch up with people that have your memories. And she had some that I had totally forgotten. 
and her daughter was there, and she was one of my sweet friends when we were children. And um, I gave her a birthday card, and I said, you know, I missed all the other birthdays in between, you know, 55 years ago and today. So here's your card. I'll give you another one in 55 years. <laughs> Because uh, we used to do birthdays in the neighborhood, and of course, you know, and uh, we had so much fun. We were let loose in the morning and just all day long ran from one side of the neighborhood to the other and stopped in here and there to get a little snack or something and drank out of garden hoses, y'all. We did. We did. And I know y'all are like, mm, that answers all my questions about Kathy Bo. <laughs> We all drank out of garden hoses, didn't we? I know it. I know. Oh, oh. This one's a little a little too not dry yet. But I never did the neck of him. So we're just going to put that on there. We're just painting this glass like we know what we're doing. And y'all, keep in mind what we're going to do here. Everything, pretty much, unless it's, you know, just one theme, pretty much everything I like to make can transition from one theme to another, okay? And I like that. I like to be able to use things, repurpose them, that kind of thing. Um, yes, it. those were the best times. It was amazing to catch up with old friends. And just, you know, like, we would get on our bicycles and ride to the... Um, to the shopping strip. It, it wasn't a mall. It was a Kroger and a, or Winn-Dixie or something. I think it was Kroger. And, um, I think we had a our Rexall drugs that became a Woolworths and, or maybe, I don't know, maybe there were both there. I don't know, but we'd ride our bicycles and I thought it was more like three miles, but, or maybe four, but, um, my older friend who, you know, new mileage back then because she was one of the mamas um she said no it wasn't that far it was more like two miles but y'all when you're riding a bicycle in the middle of summer in georgia uh-huh it's it's a trek it don't matter how far it is right but that was in college park georgia a little bit south of atlanta and college park is nothing like it was of course and y'all ninja man and i went out to breakfast um Actually, it was yesterday morning, so I ate out twice yesterday. Anyway, but I ate smart. I did, both times. I got a kid's meal uh, at the at the diner, you know, just one egg, a little bit of bacon, that kind of thing. I always order from the kid's menu if I can um, because I'm, I'm, I'm pretty fluffy, y'all, pretty fluffy. And I, I don't want to pay for a big meal, and I don't want to have a big meal in my gut, you know, that kind of thing. But um, we were sitting there, and this table full of men were talking about College Park and uh, Old National Highway, which, honestly, we could ride bicycles down, okay? And um, Marilyn, I love my chicken and eggs and my rabbits. Oh, I'm so glad you grew up in College Park, Maryland. Things and distances seem smaller as you get older. And that's what I was thinking, Nyoka, because I thought, I mean, you had to drive your car. Nobody walked to the grocery store. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But, um, but yeah, so these men were over there talking about College Park and everything and growing up there. And it was all I could do. Y'all know how shy I am, right? It was all I could do to not go... I grew up there too. I grew up there too. Ninja Man did too. But I didn't. I mean, they were sitting right by me. So, you know, the, the, it it was so hard not to say something. And he knew I was struggling. <laughs> I was struggling to say, wait, that's our old neighborhood. But I didn't. Mainly because we, we were probably 20 years older than all of them. And I, I just don't know. I don't know what their experiences were, but... They, they were naming off all the different stores. Okay, so I'm putting hot glue on the back of my butter dish, y'all. And I'm just going to seat it right in here. All right? Okay. There. Okay. Now, we could we could come in and put a little cutesy something here, you know, if we want to. But at the moment, we nada. Nada. All right, let's look at our little little bottles here. They're still drying. I'm going. I'm going to give them a little, a little uh, encouragement here. Okay. Let's 
So I'm just going to let that be for a few minutes while I get my raffia. Raffia, raffia. I've never used this kind, so I, I really just don't know what I'm in for, y'all. I, I hope it, I hope it, um, is all hope and light because <laughs> I don't want this thing springing out everywhere. And yes, I've got paint all over me now, but that's okay. That's okay. It washes right off. Washes right off. Okay, so here we go. We're going to, wait a minute. Yeah, this is one I was drawing. We're just going to put a little drop of hot glue on here. And honestly, I can't remember if if I learned this on Lizzie and Erin or what. I watch a lot of these crafters. And um, y'all, I don't know. So this, none, most of what I do, most of what I do is not original, but that's okay. That's why we do it online, right? Give other people ideas and share what we love. Is that right? That's what I think anyway. Okay, so I'm just going to wrap this. And I, it's the piece that was tying all these guys together. So, you know, they're already friends. And guess what? This sweater's got to go. I'm about, I'm about to rip it off and throw it. Just, you know, things get heated up, y'all. They do. All right, let's go around this. Oh, come on. Hold on. The sweater's too hot, and I'm rushing too much. i got to take the sweater off. Okay, here we go. We're, well, I'm just, I'm just going to start at the bottom like this and and roll it around because it's not fully dry, y'all. I, I didn't want to take all y'all's time to show you how I'm going to have to dry it, but I may I may actually have to dry them before. We call this a day because I don't want to halfway do them, you know. I don't I don't? Uh oh, out of the way! Please hold. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, okay. All right. Still going around the neck of this little. I know you can't see. Um. But I can't really hold the bottle, so I'm just going around the neck of it. And I'm I'm putting extra on because, because it's my first time and I'm I'm not sure. I'm not sure how this is gonna work. But we're it, it's going to work. I'm just not sure how yet without me just having to go around and around and around, right? All right, all right, all right, here we go. Here we go. There we go. Okay, so I got that on. Now I'm going to put some more on him. Oh, look, it is all hope and light. It's just coming off so sweetly. But really, I want one whole piece. Okay, here we go. Oh. 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 There we go. Y'all, it is strings, okay? It just comes off. But it's. But I want it to kind of be wider than this, but it's all right. It is okay. You know what I need? What I need here, I've got to I've got to turn my um lazy Susan around so I can find my little fingertip things to cut to save my hands. All right, here they are. I got one. Oops, stand up paint. That was a whole paint jar, y'all. But it didn't spill. It didn't. Okay. So Ninja Man went to the um, allergist today, y'all. He's had he's had a lifetime of allergies, and I think it just got to the point where it's like, look, you're gonna have to go, you know. And he went, and now instead of having an allergy shot every week for the rest of your life, they've got this new procedure. Have y'all heard of it? Where um, you go in there and you sit in there all day and they give you uh, shots every hour, I think, or something like that. And, I mean, you're in there the whole day and they they come in every, maybe it was 15 minutes, I'm not sure. And they give you another shot. And then you don't have to have any more shots or anything. Marilyn, this would be a cool wind chime. That would be kind of neat, but they are glass, so you'd have to not—you'd have to bring them in in the storm. 
Okay, see how much better it is when y'all can see what I'm doing? It dried enough where I could do this, okay? Here we go. Here we go. And yes, I've got some overage over there, but it's all right. It's all right. Okay, who doggies. Now, I'm going to put some glue right here, which establishes the front or the back, because that's where all my glue is. Hold him down. There we go. And we're going to snip that off. Okay, so this one is done except for its little glue hairs. And I got to touch up the, the paint because I was trying to go on and make something. Okay, now I'm going to get my raffia again. Pull a piece off. Oh, I'm doing it like I know what I'm doing now. Could hang them in the house. Yes, yes. And I don't know what I love more than an open window. I mean, seriously, I love an open window. And just little delicate wind chimes inside the house at the open window would be so sweet. I'm going to attempt to make a bow with my raffia and see. I'm going to see, y'all. It, it may it may not it may not want to be a bow. I don't know yet. I don't know. But oh, it does. It it's going to succumb to what I tell it to be. It's like, I'll be a bow. I promise I'll be a bow. All right, hold on. Got to bend it a little bit there. Oh, y'all, this is kind of cute. Okay, all right, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, I kind of like that. We're going to trim its little stuff. Give it a little trim. And we're going to put this right here, okay? Now, imagine that you're going to use these all season, okay? And, I mean, you could do Christmas. You could put white flowers and, and that uh, really light, light teal color um, with gold. Um, let me see if I have my little... Please hold. I've got a bin here with, all, with a bunch of goodies in it, y'all. I'll show you what I got. Hold on. Okay, I've got a lot of... Fourth of July things and these little flags. We're gonna we're gonna leave them out for a minute. And like I said Tuesday night, when I say a minute, I mean 60 seconds. That's what I mean. I'm not talking about a week or a month or a year. No, I'm uh-uh. No. Mm -mm. 60 seconds, y'all. All right, this is still fine. I'm gonna leave it there. I keep picking it up. Okay, so this guy's ready. We're not quite ready for him yet now. Okay, we're going to have to let him just enjoy being a little overachiever where he's ready and nobody else is, okay? He's, he's going to be able to lead the line, okay? Now, we're going to do this one's um, raffia. And... Thank you, Nyoka. It is cute, and I'm really excited. I'm really excited to make this because I thought it was the cutest thing. And I went to Dollar Tree, and what I wanted, they've got like a plastic, clear plastic um, butter dish, but none of the Dollar Trees yesterday, now I only went to two, but none of my local Dollar Trees had that particular butter dish. But they had tons of this white plastic one. Need to stick him down because he's he's getting a little bossy. He's getting bossy, y'all. Right there. Right there. So, yeah, so Ninja Man, we're looking into this whole shot all day long thing to see if, uh-oh, see if that's what he wants to do. But it sure seems like a lot better than having to have a shot a week. And, you know, if we want to go out of town or something like that, we got to work it around uh, the shot day and all that. So I don't know. I don't know. And um, when we start traveling again, because we're about, like I said, we're about to sell our house in Savannah. We don't live in Savannah, but our house is there and we have a home here in Newnan. Um, and by the way, y'all, I told Ninja Man, I mean, we live, like I said, we live on six acres here. 
And it's not like a farm or anything like that. The only livestock we have are our dogs, okay? And they live with us. They're our children. Now that the real brats have grown up and gone. But anyway, um, <laughs> they weren't brats. They were sweet. They became brats. No, I'm teasing. I'm teasing. Um, but no, the only animals we have are our dogs. And and it's just, it's just a, a beautiful country area. That's all. It's not a fab, fabulous fancy house or anything, but it's home and we love it and we designed it. And my studio, y'all, is two bedrooms and a full bath. That's, we just took walls out. We're just like, we don't, we don't, we don't need two bedrooms. We don't. Nobody's going to come and stay here. And if they do, they go out to the EBR, which is the emotional baggage room. And that's where they stay because there's a bed out there. Um, there's two beds out there. But y'all, what we're what we want to do, what I want to do, is put a small camper in the yard. We had um, we had a, a huge RV. It it was a it was a very huge, like thirty six foot long thing that you tow out of the truck bed. Okay, I can't remember what it's called. Y'all know my brain. Anyway, um, we decided we were, uh, yes, sweet until they turned 13, right? Oh, those teenage years. Ooh, I wouldn't do them again for all the tea in China, not be a teenager or have teenagers. Um, fifth wheel. That's what it's called. We had a fifth wheel. And we used to camp in that and everything. So when we bought this place and we were redoing it, we decided um, to put in all the hookups for a camper. Um, simply because we, we, we moved here because my grandchild was sick, as y'all know, and we didn't, we just didn't know. We didn't know what's coming next. Um, but it ended up, we're not camping anymore and we sold the fifth wheel, but we have this spot in the yard that has full hookups, right? And we've, th yes, Marilyn, thank you. Fifth wheeler. Um, We've thought of everything, okay? We thought about letting people come like a Airbnb where they pull their camper in. and But you know what? People are weird. Not going to have, not going to have it, you know, open to others unless they're coming to visit us. And I want to put a small camper back there. Um, why can't I make a bow? I want to put a small camper back there that our guests can just go stay in if they want to right? I think that would be fun. And of course, the shower and all that functioning kitchen stuff would be in the house here, but I think that one's too short. Let's see. Yeah, it really feels like that was a short piece. Um, all of that kind of stuff would be in the house here, and they can come and go and use the shower and everything in my studio. Why can't I tie a bow? I, I don't know, y'all. I've tied bows my whole life. We're going to try this next. Please hold. Cha-cha-cha. Put it around something. See if that works. I'll just put it around this one. These are my little wire things that, guess what? These would have dried great on top of. Silly me. Silly me. All right. I'm going to get these bows tied, y'all, if, if we're here till dinner time, which I, we're, we're not going to be here till dinner time. Ninja Man's in the background making all kinds of noise with coughing and whatever else it is he does. I don't know. I don't know. If it, come, if it needs to come out, it's coming out, y'all. Y'all know that. It's okay. It's okay. All right, here we go. Now, this, for some reason, I can make a bow, but I couldn't earlier. Heavens to Murgatroyd, wherever that is. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to trim and trim and trim and make this a little smaller. There. It is it is dedicated. It's going on because I said so. All right, there we go. Now we're going to trim it. Boop. And boop. That was very scientific. I kind of like it. I kind of do. Nyoka, I have all day. I enjoy chatting and watching you craft. Oh, bless your heart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. Okay. Your check is in the mail, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're going to put a little bloop of glue right here. We're going to set this on it. I was so excited to make this today, y'all. 
so excited because it's so simple. Who would think when you look at a butter dish and salt and pepper shakers? Who would think, right? Okay, we're going to go around its neck. I, I am going all the way to the to the neck, okay? And by the way, this one's not as wet as the others. <laughs> because it dried, right? Right, okay, all right. And y'all, I've been loading videos up on my YouTube channel. And some of them are from April. And now they're like from May. And I'm like, well, even though I'm caught up, I'm still behind. Truly, really, I'm not caught up. I, there's some videos I never got edited and loaded. And what I do on my live videos like this, I um I try to take out some of the some of the chatter and y'all know that <laughs> I mean come on, right? Like I don't know that that's possible, but I try, I try y'all. And um it is what it is. We, you know, I'll just tell tell the viewers it was on fire when you sat down on it. <laughs> right? Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna dry this. Okay, so I also, y'all, I placed a Stampin' Up order twice, one day and then the next day. But they're small. So <laughs> I'm y'all know I'm a writer as well, right? And um, so I know I'm getting paid for, for my work I did. And I'm like, oh, I need this, this, and this. And then I'm like, but wait, I, I need that too. But that was the next day, y'all. So I added to cart. I'm like, oh, I know. But I'm going to be doing these vendor events, and I'll have Stampin' Up, like I was talking about earlier. I'll have Stampin' Up and some Dollar Tree things. Can y'all hear him doing dishes? Isn't that sweet? During my life. <sighs> um, oh, Nyoka, thank you. <laughs> but anyway, um, I, hey, I ain't going to complain. Dishes get done, they get done. I don't care if it's during my live or not. I mean, you know, this is home. This isn't some warehouse I've rented. Ooh, that would be fun. Have a whole warehouse full of crafting. Oh, okay, wait. Back to reality. Okay, this this has just a little hair-looking piece. I, I don't even know. All right. It's bow time. We got to do another bow. Woo! I'm bringing this guy over. This is officially my bow maker. Because, you know... It works. Oh, poo. Wait. <laughs> if I'm doing it right, it works, right? Okay, get my ends even. And get my ends even again. Like that. And this time I'm going to do it right because I'm going to cut these in advance, okay? So then I'm going to put it around here. And I'm going to tie my little knot. And y'all, I would close my door, but it's a barn door. It slides. You know, it's a, it's a real, like, a big old house door that used to be on somebody's house. I don't know. I bought it in a one of those stores. But anyway, um, it hangs on those rolling things. And I'll tell you, I love it, and I wouldn't trade it for anything, but... No, it's not a sound barrier. It doesn't make a tight seal like a regular door. So it, it wouldn't do any good. wouldn't do any good at all to close the door. So when the kids are in there, the grand littles, when they're here. Now I'm measuring my bows over here just to see if we're close. We're close. We're close, yeah. Um, but if my grand littles are here and they're watching TV, there's, there's no point. Because the TV's right on the back of my wall. The TV in the living room. And my studio is, is right there with the barn door. And I'm just like, okay, okay. So, you know, suck it up, buttercup. I'm looking for my glue. Hey, not, not too obvious there. So I'm going to put this one right here. Okay, ow. <laughs> Y'all, I went to glue it with this finger. It doesn't have a thing on it, so I have to use okay. <laughs> oh, woo doggies. Oh, so my friend, I was telling you that um, that I saw for the first time since I was a, a wee bairn. Um, she is, we are planning a luncheon with my brother and sister. And her and her daughter, who was my friend when I was growing up. And yeah, we're planning this luncheon. And it's just, it's just going to be so cool. So cool. 
to see her. And she knew my parents, and they were all friends. And Y'all, it's the moment. Here we go. Remember this little guy? Okay, and you can, you can paint him any color. What I wanted to do and what I was trying to do was do like a crackle paint, but it was the first time I ever tried it, so I got to master that. Naoka, Ninja Man sounds more like he's breaking up housekeeping. Yes, sounds like my hubby when he's doing dishes. Oh, yeah, yeah, it sounds just like that. And I know it's really loud, too, and I'm, I'm trying so hard <laughs> to, to not shut that door, but that door won't hide any noises. He does this almost every time. I think he's just bored because I'm not entertaining him. I don't know. Okay, we're not going to glue these in. We're just going to set them in like this, okay? But wait, there's more. And they do fit. See, they fit very nicely. Aren't they cute? Okay. But wait, there's more. We have... We have Le Fleur. Here we go. I've got these plastic fern looking things. I'm quite certain everything you see right here came from Dollar Tree. We're going to put that in there. I like the yellow. The yellow in there just kind of gives it a little, I don't know, gives it a little um, color, right? Okay, of course, color. And we're doing purple in the background. I've got, I do have three like this, but I want to put a light one in the middle. So we're going to do that. And I'm going to leave his leaves on, I think. Yeah, I'm going to leave his leaves on. We're going to get our little fern, and we're going to put that in there. We're going to put the fern like this. And then the yellow like that. See where we're going. See where we're going. Okay. All right. Got one more. And we're going to go back with the dark purple. We're not going to use the pink this time. We're going to put the fern in. And it's a plastic. You know, they're, they're, I'll tell you, Dollar Tree's fake plants, <laughs> they look amazing. The little flake, flake, flake flowers. <laughs> fake flowers. All right. So now we're putting this one in. Okay. And this, is finished okay but wait what if what if it's time for memorial day or fourth of july or whatever y'all we can stick them in like that and they're just those flags are just sitting there there's three of them we can move them around let me see if i can do this and keep them from falling out we can put them like this you can change out these little flowers for every season. Whatever you want to do. There's three in there. There's the third one right there. Oh, right there. And, I mean, you could even you could even put some initials here, like Six Little Acres, S-L-A, or I could put Six Little Acres, you know, because I've, I've got several things around the house that say Six Little Acres. But, y'all, I think this is just adorable and so easy. I've got one dollar in the butter dish. I've got one dollar in two of these, 50 cents in this. So we're looking at two dollars and a half. And I'd say not even, not even 50 cents in these flowers because they're pieces off of other plants, other fake plants, right? Right. Okay, y'all, that's it. I'm going to go have some lunch. And if you want to do a screenshot, you can do it right now. Boop. Okay. Thanks so much, y'all, for joining me. And God bless. Toodles.